multiply by using the special case products. So what they mean is to use a formula that will allow us to do this problem much, much easier. So let me recall the formula that we're going to use in this problem. The formula says if you have A minus B and you square it, there is a really fast way to do this. So think of A as your first one and B as your second one. So you square the first one, you keep the sign, so there's a minus, so you keep it. Then you multiply the A and the B and then you double it, so you put a 2. So it's 2AB, and then it's always a plus, and then you square the last one. So let's apply it here to our problem. So you square the first one, so you'll, you'll get x squared. You keep the sign. Then you multiply these two, and then you double it. So it'll be minus 7xy, but then you double it, so it's minus 14xy. And then you square the last one, and it's always a plus. So plus. 7y squared. Let me go over that one more time. So you square the first one, so it's x squared. You multiply the x and the 7y, so that's 7xy, but then you double it, so it's 14xy. And then you square the last one, and it's always a plus at the end. Okay, last thing to do is rewrite this as x squared minus 14xy plus, if you square the 7, you'll get 49, and square the y, you'll get y squared. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.